take your order, please. In building with earth bags, we discovered our family thrived creatively and grew stronger by working side by side. We welcome you to be part of our family for this week's adventure. This is the Telly style guitar kit, of which I really wanted to try before I started embarking on building everything from total scratch. It's gonna make this real simple. We're gonna spruce this thing up, maybe a little bit of trimming up the headstock, and then a custom paint job on it. So what are you looking for, Greg? Right now, I'm looking for some more heavy-duty yarn to make uh, rugs out of. I think any yarn will work from what I read, but I'm told that there's a more stiff yarn that's better for rug making. You can do all different types of yarns, textures, and everything for rugs. I have no idea what the pattern is going to look like, but there's the colors. Now we got to get backing and uh, some maybe some monk cloth. Looks like it's the letter A that we're looking for. In the middle of the rug. Oh, no. This is what we shoot into. Oh, yeah, Something that's going to be like non-stick, uh, anti-slip, you know what I mean, for the back end of it. So all that right. has got little knobs on it. So that's the backing? It's in the same place. I think that's what we'll do for backing. It's, it's almost okay. like people were designed to make rugs out of these. Yeah, supplies for rug making. one of the brick buildings hiding out from the leather. You can clearly hear it. Well, they're still there. We are making a frame for carpets or rugs. How big of a frame do we want to make? So I'm pulling staples while Bryson's pulling himself together. <laughs> Land it over here, boys. It's a war zone. <laughs> staples flying everywhere. Remind me of my youth, the summer of long ago. I was gonna say the summer of and then do a specific year, but it's not impressive unless you can say 19 something. Born in 2000, so there I never had a summer of 19 something because I was around during that time. De-staplified all of these pieces of wood and there's still gonna be the holes in them, but I really don't think that matters. So Bryson ran off, he's gonna go get a screw gun and then we're gonna put this together. Wow, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> That was quite the entrance. I felt like I should have had a trumpet to announce you. <laughs> for adventure, for success, for glory. Hey, look. Pretty as a picture. Ching. <laughs> Taking it apart so that I can work on the wood and frets and make sure everything is all put together nicely. A couple coats of paint and stuff. Alrighty. Headstock design that I like. Looking beautiful. Is it fun? Yeah, it's kind of got three layers to it. This will be paint here. That'll be stain. Did you just sand all that out? Sanded it. I used a little bit of the Dremel. Dremel's a little unpredictable, but <laughs> so I've had to do some fixing. But otherwise, yeah. That'll be stain. Hi, right, Dad, how's it going? Really good. I've got a little bit more to do right here, and then I pretty much have this shaped. And then I'll hit it with a sander, and we'll have this thing zoom in. A little bit rough, but then when I hit it with a sander, that'll just bend this over and roll right into it, it should. Pretty easy with that grinder, I tell ya. He's having fun, he likes it. This side over here now has its finished bevel that I put into it, and it's not typical on a telly. It's just more comfortable to play, which makes more sense to me. What about 
the, the tighter is it is, okay? the easier that thing will stab. Okay. So let's just pull it. Oh, look at that. You start doing this. Well. And listen, you run your hand over too, like it's it pretty even. I think it's ready. Beautiful. But what is our pattern? You should draw something out. That is a rug. The evil Knievel plan here. My plan is pew, 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 pew. All right, so we got ourselves the tufting gun for making rugs. This is the Frankenstein looking tufting gun. I'm thinking you don't got it threaded right. What does the other side look like? Oh, wait, the other side's what matters? There you go. There you go. It's funny, it doesn't have any cover, but it worked just fine. Thread the the thread here through this upper loop and then through this really tiny hole and then it like stabs into the fabric and it loops it through and it looks so good on the other side and a little less good on the side you're working on but completely functional a little bit snaggy at times but i think that might have been how fluffy our thread was yeah we were using pretty big thread but it worked really well but i actually took out the tensioner on here and that worked a lot better mm -hmm. and i hope i'm not ruining integrity when i do that This is the pick guard to the guitar. It's really nice. It was black. I didn't think black was a good color. I'm gonna go ahead and change it to a white, but I wanna use an epoxy, kind of like a pearl texture on there using two-part epoxy. Put some pearl coloring in there and let's see what we get. Put a heat gun to it, got all the bubbles out of it. So now my next process is going to be let it dry and then peel off the back, sand it, cut it, and polish it. I'm following the lines. Shay just mowed over them. <laughs> I've only done like 10% of this. She's done the 90. Really large yarn and it was just breaking off in us. It had even slightly too much tension then it would break so we actually ended up having one person feeding the thread and one person going through the rug and then that two person worked out and I think that if we had a stronger thinner thread then it probably would have worked a little better. Agreed. I'm just here to help you, guide you. Make you successful. Okay. It's super cool though. It's amazing how cool it looks. Meow! It's looking good, Bryson. Okay. It looks a little bit like it's got a tumor in some places. <laughs> I love the teamwork going on here. Start there, okay. And then curve in and go down. Go down to right down here. Yeah. Um, we're good. This color yarn here, we had a rat get in there and chew the yarn roll up. I was sitting there tying together two foot <laughs> strips. <laughs> We're gonna make it, Bryson. We're gonna make it. Yeah. Oh, you're going fast. So it's kind of... Woo! Is that good? Good. Um, let's see. Right here. Okay. We were afraid we weren't gonna have enough thread, but after I finished tying together all the thread that we had left, I went on the other side of the canvas and I was helping point out uh, where it had maybe been a little thin or he'd missed. It's really hard to gauge how fluffy it's gonna be on the other side when you're Thing it. tufting it. The actual look of the rug is on the other side. So you can't actually see the finished product until you've looked on the other side. Mm -hmm. So it worked really well having the two people. That's what it looks like. Not bad for a first try. Not at all. Oh, it feels wonderful. Favorite part is how soft it is. 
but you can't appreciate that. Just keep in mind that it's our first one. Our next one's gonna look even better. So now on this side, we put the backing on it okay. and the glue. The one thing we notice is less colors. We had these three threads and we were gonna run out of each of them. So we used every single one of these threads. We just barely made it. So next time we'll use solid colors. It could suck like half the way out. Maybe a thinner And it would one. still be just as nice, just mm -hmm. be a thinner rug and use a lot less. This know. one was a lot of detail, took a lot of hours. Less. Our plan for next time is more patience and less swirls. It's paint time. So first we're gonna put on a little bit of primer here. It's kind of a filler primer. It'll fill in what I didn't get with my other fill that I did. So, so I have a nice filled in spot on both sides where the paint's gonna go. We're letting dad figure this all out so that when we come in and do our guitars, we'll have less mistakes on our Yeah, guitar. I'll have all the mistakes. So it's just perfect. <laughs> <laughs> right, we'll let that set for about uh, 10 minutes. So let's evacuate. I have the primer coat on right now and getting ready to put on the base coat. It's going to be a silver metallic. The, how you get the candy apple is you spray silver underneath it because it's slightly clear. The candy apple comes through with an interesting base. Oh, that's why you're watching car paint videos earlier today. Yeah. I understand now. Not too bad. Not too bad looking at all. This is prepped and ready now for some candy apple red. Candy apple red. That looks impressive, Dad. Well, thank you. Yeah, it's got a little bit of a shine to it. So I'm gonna get the clear coat on it and see if we can't fill in some of the little spots there. But for the most part, it's gonna look really good. Showing a little bit of inexperience with paints. I got the nice candy apple coating on just beautiful. The paint looks great. Several different types that you can work with. I used a two part. Instead of pulling on this to mix the two, I pushed it in and it moved. And I thought, oh, I must have done it. Went ahead and clear coated the whole guitar. Uh, unfortunately, Bryson pops in and wants to know why I haven't pulled it and mixed the two. And I'm already done. So it meant letting that dry as much as it could. It took lots of heat, time, sun to be able to get that to dry properly enough that I could go ahead and repurchase the material. This is uh, dried well enough. It's still not hard as it should be or needs to be. So because of course I was using this and forgot to do this properly as far as mixing the two. What I'll have to do now is lightly sand it to rough it up a little bit. And I'm starting with the back in case I really make a mistake that's easier to fix. Just glue it with that spray glue, and then we don't have to sew. We can check. Oh, do we have a throwaway thing we can chuck on this? Mm. She's all, mm, 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 mm. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. That means can we take it outside? Outside we go. The pouring cold rain. Oh, good, it fits through a door. I totally did not plan that. We finish off the rug. We're gonna take a spray adhesive, and we're gonna take both of our fabrics and we're just gonna spray it on both sides and press them together and then we'll let that dry. Like a backing fabric with a little bit of rubber on it like so bumps. that when the rug is actually laying on the floor, it's not gonna be slipping around. Kind of working it in, trying to get all those fibers to adhere. It's been sprayed adhesive. Wow, we don't need this guy anymore. It's thick. It's really thick. It's very thick. Wow, it is. It feels really cool. Wow. I must say, I like it a lot more off the frame. And then to finish off the edges, we're gonna cut off the excess fabric, glue that and fold that over, and that'll be our finished product. Boom, bada, bang. You can fold this down at a little angle. And when it comes in, it's not gonna overlap or stick out. Uh, 
that's nice, isn't it? That looks a lot better, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Super soft. Love well, the thickness it of it. Success, guys. Sleep time. So, I think it's pretty now that it looks like a rug. Put the entry over there. Uh, it doesn't fly. You know, you don't even want to step on it, though, because you don't want to ruin it. I wonder if you can wash it. You probably could. I would hand wash. I wouldn't stick it in a machine. A project you guys would do again? Yes. I think we would do smaller threads. And some less swirls. All right, so we're going to add it to our list of things we like to do. Yeah. Well, the dogs love it. Cute. Well, that wraps up this week's video. The teacher design of the week is certified in winging it. Since we were winging it with not only the rug, but the guitar, you can get that in a t-shirt, a sweatshirt, an apron, all kinds of things over there in the shop, along with designs that we've done in the past. Also, there's a 20% sale off of everything in the store now through Monday. If you're planning to get something, you'll want to get over there and do that so you can get in on that sale. If you haven't heard, Garen Ellie had their baby, a little girl, her name is Kinsley. If you missed that you can check out last week's video there's lots of shots of her in there we could be more proud we had a Wednesday video as well that you might want to check out Bryson was experimenting with some electricity in your house while you were gone yes true you can check that out too there'll be a link down in the description also if you want to give a monthly contribution we're set up on patreon so you can go out there just donate a small amount a dollar or two a month that is so helpful we appreciate you being part of our family we're so glad you're here have a great week and we'll see you soon. Bye. Thank you. And then this. Oh yeah, my the bottom. Uh oh, had a little leakage. We had some extra, so we just put it on the bottom. This is our new idea is putting tape around the edge, which we happened to just see somebody on the internet today that did it with tape too, but he used masking tape. Oh my goodness, price and check this out. Look, it peels off so nice. Oh. Is this an edge? Oh, we'll have to sand that though, it's gonna lip. You could just take a razor blade and just go around it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so look at, check it out. Here's this bin. This is the animal feed bin. That, you know, that we keep in the kitchen for scraps. So Bryson made this, he 3D printed this. Yeah. And the bottom was not real smooth, so. Yeah, it was really lumpy on the bottom. Makes that bottom kind of weighted, kind of nice, huh? It is nice. <laughs> Very good. Nice. Our family moved from the city to the country. Thanks for taking part in our adventure. We have new videos every Friday evening. If you would like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. See the links in the description. So this here, used to be the uh, paint house where we had a whole tarped off area for painting. On here, I think we should be, keep the plastic on there. This would be fun. <laughs> so we'll just use it like this. It's going to be tough thing to build. I would walk 5,000 miles Stop. just to... I'm filming you. Look focused. I am focused. Can't you see I'm focused? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 it's stuck. <laughs> stop, stop, stop. stop.